This is an idea that I've wanted to start for a couple of years now. I've been into running on and off since I was a little kid, taking part in occasional races just for fun, but I started to get into a real routine with running in the spring of 2020, just before the COVID-19 lockdowns hit. I'd signed up to do the Milton Keynes 5K as a starting point, and I'd also booked a half marathon in London and the San Francisco Marathon. Of course then, everything went into lockdown, and the half and the full marathon plans got scrapped. Only the 5K went ahead, and that was just before everything shut down. I'd had all these big plans for races that all ended up not happening. But then, without having to go commute every day, I started running more and more in my local area. I was living in Bletchley at the time, on the edge of Milton Keynes. I bought a house there because it was a good balance between the commute time and the cost of housing, but I'd never really had much of an opportunity to explore the area. I was travelling down to London most days, but then when lockdowns hit and I stopped needing to travel, it opened up all these new opportunities to explore this place that I was living. I started going out for my daily exercise, exploring and finding all these incredible new routes and hidden places. I started to realise that the thing about running that I enjoy the most is using it as a means to seek out new adventures. I wasn't so much interested in racing. I often preferred actually running alone, setting my own pace and enjoying it. Running allowed me to connect with the area that I was living in in a whole new way. And so I started to build up this idea that once the world started opening up again, after lockdowns, I'd like to use running as a way to connect with other places too, using it as a way to explore. And so that's what I'm doing now with this new project that I'm starting called Run Everywhere. I wanted to give myself a distance target for the project. So I started looking at a map and thought it would be really cool to say that I've ran the equivalent distance of running from my home in London to the Mediterranean, which is about 1,030 kilometers away. So that's the goal for this project, to run 1,030 kilometers and to explore some new places along the way. But to begin with, there was a run that I always wanted to do, starting from my home in Bletchley, that I never got the chance to do when I was living there during the lockdowns. You see, there's three big lakes in Milton Keynes, and on my lockdown adventures, I'd regularly go to visit one or two of them, but I never did a single run that went past all three, and I always wanted to. So I decided to start my mission by going back to Bletchley and doing the run that I'd always thought about. So here I am outside my old house, where I used to start all of my runs, and this is where we're gonna start this new project. So I'm gonna get my watch ready to record, start run, and go. And here we set off, heading down. So obviously this is not about racing, this is not about going fast, this is about going at a comfortable pace where you can really enjoy being out and about, enjoy exploring, enjoy finding new places by running. So uh, that's what I'm doing. I forgot that in the summertime this path is covered in flies from the stream. This is one thing that I really, really miss about living here. That I could just run like a hundred meters from my house and be somewhere green, beautiful. You don't really get this in London, at least not to the same extent. So it's really good to be back here. Just following along this little brook, uh, surrounded on both sides by a bit of parkland. It's a really nice place to come running. So according to my watch, we've just completed the first kilometer. So great start. Uh, as I say, just taking it nice, easy, nice and slow, enjoying ourselves being out here on the run in this beautiful summer weather here in England that we're having at the moment. So we're just running over the top here of the Grand Union Canal. This one runs all the way from London to Birmingham, I believe. Uh, you can follow it all the way. Obviously, <laughs> we're not doing that today, uh, but enjoying our run nonetheless. So we're here now at Caldecott Lake, one of the prettiest spots in Milton Keynes probably. One of my favourite places to come and run. On a day like this it's absolutely perfect. Get to see the geese, more geese and swans. Oh. 
So because this isn't a race, because we're just out here to have fun, taking the scenery, I'm going to be stopping regularly just to take in the views, to relax, to even, you know, have a picnic, have a drink of water. I was always super jealous of the people who get to live in these houses here with this amazing view of the lake to wake up to every day. Wish that was me. Hey cows, how's it going? Covered in flies, not good. So we've just left Caldecott Lake behind us. Uh, we're just over six and a half kilometers into today's run. And now we're following Ouzel Valley Park, which takes us north from Caldecott Lake. It runs basically all along the eastern side of Milton Keynes all the way up to Willem Lake. So it's a really long trail. Um, lots of beautiful scenery, lots of great sights to take in. Sheep. Some uh, freshly sheared sheep here. It's actually ended up being a very hot day here today. Very hot, very sunny here in Milton Keynes, but actually, so I think in a minute I'm gonna have to find somewhere shaded, uh, you know, chill out, have a drink of water, have uh, one of the snacks I've got in my bag uh, just to replenish myself before going on uh, because it is <laughs> starting to feel very hot. So just stopping off here, having a little break. I just finished off the water in my bag, uh, but that's fine because there should be some shops coming up ahead so I can buy some more if I need it. I'm uh, gonna have a little gel uh, now. Uh, feeling good, it's going really well. Uh, really love being back out here in the greenery, in uh, the beautiful parks of Milton Keynes. You know, Milton Keynes always has this reputation of being really built up, really concretey, built around cars. Uh, but living here, that's not the full story. It's got a lot of parkland, it's got a lot of trails, it's got a lot of cycling lanes. It's actually quite a good place to live. So we're coming up on Willen Lake now, which is the second of what I consider to be Milton Keynes' major lakes. And in my opinion, Willen Lake is the nicest uh, because it's surrounded by these, these woods, which I think is really cool. Uh, it's also the furthest one from where I used to live, so it always felt a little bit special coming here. Okay, we have made it to Willen Lake, so let's go take a look at the view. If you're interested in Park Run at all, uh, Milton Keynes Park Run happens around here, around this lake. Uh, every Saturday you can come along to that. I never actually got to do it because um, it was locked down when I was living here and uh, Park Run wasn't happening. So I need to come back someday. Uh, it's quite busy here today at Willen Lake. Lots of people out enjoying the sunshine, uh, which is fantastic, great atmosphere, but also means not the best place to be running. So I'm gonna have a bit of a string, then I'm gonna shoot off uh, back somewhere where there aren't quite so many people. There's a horse. So far, I've been really good at remembering the route, remembering where I'm going, but that might be about to change because I have to turn right at some point along this road and I can't remember where it is. So this might be a little bit of an adventure. We'll see, we'll see. Okay, panic over. I've made it to the canal, so we're on track. We're going the right way. I ran past this several times, but never actually stopped to uh, take a closer look. This is a ridiculous uh, giant dinosaur. Uh, that's the one popped right in the middle of Milton Keynes. We're encountering the first real kind of uphill slog 
in this route. Um, it's not terrible, like if it's the sort of uphill slog you get at the start of a run, it's fine. But when you're 15k in, you know, you start to feel it a little bit. So uh, I'm looking forward to get to the top and then downhill on the other side. So I'm now uh, just over 17 kilometers. Uh, I haven't updated you in a little while because this path that I've been going on is essentially just a footpath that runs through the middle of Milton Keynes. There's not many sights to see, uh, but now we're coming to the end of that. Uh, in less than a kilometre we're going to come out onto Thurston Lake, the final of the Milton Keynes three major lakes. Very excited. So, made it to Thurston Lake here behind me. Uh, finally made it a run that touches all three of Milton Keynes major lakes, which I've been wanting to do all the time I was living here, just never got round to doing it now finally came back and done it so i can take that one off uh the run isn't over yet still got to go uh back towards bletchley train station still going to be another three or four kilometers probably but um yeah i'm very happy to be at this point i'm very hot the sun is very intense today and i need another drink because i am dying Um, I just made it to the top of a hill, to the shop, stopped off for some water, some chocolate. I sat there for about 10 minutes eating and drinking. Um, and still after 10 minutes, my heart rate was ridiculously high, uh, like 120, 130, um, which is a great sign of how unfit I am. The station is essentially at the end of this street, so I just have to follow this down. It's quite pretty here, lots of greenery, lots of trees, making me really miss living here. So we're almost at the end of today's run now. Just a quick pit stop here to show you Bletchley Park, Bletchley Park Museum. This is where all the code breaking happened uh, during the war, right next to Bletchley Station. So if you're ever coming up this way, just cross the street and you've got Bletchley Park Museum so you can learn all about the code breaking. Coming up on Bletchley Railway Station here, this is where we're going to end the run today. So I'm going to go ahead and end it. So we made it, Bletchley train station, run complete, and I am <laughs> happy, at the same time exhausted. Um, so I have uploaded everyone to Strava to take a look at the stats. Uh, so it came out to a total of 22 and a half kilometers, essentially 22.46 kilometers. There's a bit of a learning curve today, trying to run with the GoPro, uh, stopping and filming, um, carrying a bag with loads of supplies, extra bits, batteries for the camera. Um, but you know, it went okay. I'm happy. I'm exhausted, but I'm happy. I'm really excited to, uh, to get home, to chill out for a bit after that run. So 22.46 kilometers completed. It's time to start exploring. I've got a train to go catch.